How's it going, boys? So today is the first day of Ikoria. Oh yes, what a wonderful time. And boys, let me tell you something about this set. It's amazing. It's everything I wanted. It has huge combo cards. And it has some of the better cards. And if you're looking at this deck, you're probably already capable of telling that the only Ikoria card I'm using in this is Shark Tornado. Oh yes, aka Sharknado. So, let me explain something. This is the start of the season, and in the start of the season there only exist three kinds of players. The people who are too scared to uh, make new decks so they play old decks, people who play aggro decks to just climb faster, and people who make new decks but they have absolutely no idea what they're doing, so essentially they're just three bins. Oh yes, so we're trying, uh, as always, to go down the middle, and every time a new expansion has hit, we have been successful. This is a pure control deck with life gain. Oh yes, it has something against planeswalkers and whatnot. Now this deck does have two weaknesses. One, the biggest is decks that play Trefari on curve. Currently this deck only has two losses. Oh yes, only two losses of, of seven games. And it was against Trefari decks who played on curve perfectly Trefaris. And I have also played against Red Aggro decks. And we have chances. Admittedly, again, if you're playing a control deck, you always need to keep in mind it doesn't really matter what kind of control deck you're playing as long as it's not ultra hyper ultra life gain. Then, you know, it's it's just gonna be pretty much do you get the solutions fast enough to not die against Thread. That's essentially how it goes. Anyway, this set is fantastic, and this deck is pretty awesome to start off with it, and it's actually really fast. So, 4 Anticipate, 2 Fey of Fishes, 4 Assassin's Trophies, 4 Sinister Sabotages, 4 Gifts of Paradisio, 4 Chemist's Insights, 2 uh, uh, Rittles of Sut, 4 Wilderness Reclamations, 4 Sharknadoes, 1 Mirror Magic, 4 Erebos's Invitations, and a bunch of lands. 4 Zagot Triom... no one cares. 4 Fable Passages and 3 Castle Ventresses. 24 lands to be specific. Also, we have a sideboard which literally does not matter. Uh, cleansed Mind, Elder Spell, and, well, a Ruin, a Ruin Assault Ultimatum, because why not at this point? And, you know, a Heliod's Intervention. And a Jace. Why not, right? Okay, so this is the deck. It's pretty fast. It's pretty decent. Again, only, only things I am worrying about is... Well, as always, being unlucky and the enemy being extremely lucky at the opening hands, and red aggro decks if we don't draw the things that we want, and we have a bunch of things that we want so it's not hard, and, you know, uh, Trefari decks, oh yeah, Trefari decks are probably the worst, not gonna lie. So boys, let me tell you something. I haven't uh, done this in a while, but like the video, because you under need to understand, your boy has made sacrifices. Oh yes! Remember the reason why we're not talking about MILFs so much? Because there's one girl who is not a MILF that I am interested in? Oh yes! And today, she was like, Yeah, so you just wanna come over and chill, the weather's getting good, we could do something, and I'm like, the weather's fucking horrible. Obviously, I don't tell her that. But anyway, boys! You know what was my response? A crying fucking sad face and, and, the, and the letters and oh, no. Oh yes, your boy has made sacrifices. So you better pucker up because, you know, I am in pain. Well, I'm usually in pain. But that is not absolutely anything new. Also, no bl uh, bl 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 Also, what is this? Oh, it's a Godzilla deck! Who the fuck thought that making a deck like the... Who, who thought that, by the way, that's a good idea? Well, obviously, we don't exactly care because Assassin's Trophy. But yeah, boys, I can't wait until I have exhausted all options in Standard and we can go in Historic. I could... Easy. I currently have around... Seven cards that... This deck is amazing because it just... It, it adds a little bit of the old, you know, a little bit more graveyard combos, cards that do generally good and whatnot, but it adds something majestic. It adds big cards that you can play that uh, create decks around. And boys, 
some of the ideas I have for those cards, well, we're gonna see if they're practical or not, but some of them are absolutely insane, and some of them are broken. For example, the three-cost cat, uh, you know, that can make literally anything into an elemental. Previously, the problem with elemental decks was that you're using elementals, but now with that cat, it's like, well, you're not no longer exactly using elementals, now are you? Oh yeah, that that that's a big thing. So we're gonna get the island. Let's pretend that you know stuff's happening. Also, the new lands island is absolute garbage. Well, we have Erebos's invitation, so technically it's all good in the hood, almost kinda yeah. And we have this for AOE mass wipage. Good times. Anyway, boys. Oh no 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 no! That's a little bit too aggressive, enemy con. And he's gonna light up the stage, I can guarantee it. Oh no, he didn't. Well, honestly, sucks to be you, you in that case. I would have definitely have lit up the stage right there. But yeah, we can do Fey of Fishes, we can get a big AoE Viper, and then we ha can have a good time. Oh, all the annoying cards. But yeah, as long as it doesn't go too much aggressive, it's like, you know, 12 HP is not exactly the, uh, the cream of the crop. But technically, it's fine. Thank God I did not accidentally press recycle there. I, I, I would have been absolutely livid. Okay, so now we have Shatter Disguise. As long as he does not drop down a Trollbjorn. Which he doesn't! Ah, oh, we, we have a chance. And hopefully he doesn't have multiple light of this. Oh, that's sad. Oh, that's unusable. Well, good enough, honestly. Okay, and that means that we have a good... Oh! A class... Yeah, you see? If he did not get lucky, we absolutely demolished that situation. With Veribos' invitation and the Fey of Fish's blocker... We win. We, we just absolutely win from that point onward. You know, because uh, we, we can recycle the Sharknadoes if we want. Essentially, there's so many things that can save us from a situation like that. It's absolutely insane. But nah. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. The, the game decided, you know, it, 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 no. No, just no. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Some Oh, again? Is he gonna drop one more? Well, we have Riddle of Sut now, so I guess that's something. Anyway, let's find a uh, land. A Fable Passage definitely does the trick here. Okay, at least now we have Riddle of Sut and a Sharknado. Admittedly, we have two Wilderness Reclamations, which is not perfect, by the way, but hey, it it's a life worth living, as some people may say, obviously. Uh, that's useful at the bare minimum. So, do this. Not gonna recycle this. Even if, yeah, actually, do we want to recycle? Well, we're gonna recycle it later on with the, the build, uh, wilderness reclamation. Again, recycle, create a shark. It's fine. Also, uh, this, if he doesn't have light up this, oh god, he's just absolutely going in, my boys. Oof. Wow. Not impressed, but hey, it's a red deck. It's 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 kind of hard for me to be impressed about something so extremely autistic, honestly. Okay. Anyway, it seems like we can stall for a turn or two, which means we can just gift a Paradisio on this, and it's fine. By the way, the Black Land, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Sv Svetlin uh, Vilinov. Congratulations, maybe you're gonna get hired by a non-indie company sooner or later, and it will be amazing. But for now, keep struggling, dude. L working from a basement, from an indie... Dude. Is this just like a fucking joke or something at this point? It is... Uh, like... Again, all you need to do is not get unlucky. Essentially, we're kind of fine. Essentially. he If he can only drop a giant, we're gonna be absolutely... Well. Ah. Okay. 
Ah, not okay. Uh, so many things, so many possibilities, so many things I dislike with a vengeance. Uh, that's six. Okay, so what's the plan here? Uh, the plan is sadness. The plan is absolute sadness. Nice. Shut the fuck up, enemy kun. Uh, I need to kill this. Actually, I should have just waited. But it's fine. It doesn't matter. Like, in a situation like this, like, 2 HP is never gonna make a difference. It's either you're dead or not dead. Simple facts. Simple logics. Okay, also we can, again, recycle the Sharknado anytime we please. Also, the big question is now, do we counterspell that or we play that and then counterspell something? I have a feeling we must counterspell no matter what, as, as sad as it may sound. But, you know, it happens. Okay, that's an island. Congratulations, game. Well played. He can equip it, which is the sad part. But then again, we will be able to recycle the Sharknado, which is fine. Okay, and he did not have anything, so... Looking good? Wait, what do we even have in the sideboard that makes sense? Well, we can still play the Fate of Vicious, so it honestly doesn't even matter. Oh, let's see. How many cards in the graveyard? I can't... SEE WIZARDS! I hate indie development sometimes so much. I need to, like, count it one by one like a peasant five. Well, let's see. So... Like, the ungreedy play is obviously Heliod's intervention. And we're... Yeah, we're just gonna do it. There, there, there is no way around that part. Okay, so we're sacking the Fey of Fishes. We can heal for 8, but does that honestly even matter to us? Probably not. Uh, we can also sack the Fey again if we would want to, but we probably don't exactly want to do that. Yeah, let's just, let's just do it like this. Again, well, we need to block. That's like 100% pizzazz points. But yeah, essentially, boom, boom, boom. Uh, let's see, he plays nothing. So essentially, boys, this is what you call vintage spinach. Uh, let's see, we, we play this. It's a shark, it's a nado, it's your boy. See, we can win against red decks. It's just the fact that, my god, we need to get unlucky to lose. We can go one for one against... Oh, God, is, is, is that even serious at this point? Uh, well, I guess... I, I, I honestly guess it is. Okay, so... Is he gonna just gonna attack? Yeah, he's just attacking. Which means, yeah, we can Assassin's Trophy without any remorse for our activities. If he has, by the way, another Ember Cleave, I am gonna freak out. Not gonna lie here, boys. If he if he has another Ember Cleave in hand, I, I I am just gonna explode. He doesn't, thankfully, but he can make the Goblet a little gobbo that's invulnerable. Oh wait, it's too late. Yeah, it's too late. When you attack, you can't do that. Well, you can pay the mana, but it doesn't do anything. Ah, oh, enemy Kun, you thought you're so conniving, so sly. Wait. He already attacked. Well, it doesn't matter, I guess. You know why? Because reasons. Extensive reasons. Oh yes, that's just a little bit more of those sweet, sweet sharky boys. Uh, I, I want. I honestly don't want the sharks. I just want my uh, Tezret metal summons or whatever they're called back. That 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 is honestly all I want. I don't remember what the card is called, but some of you definitely know what I'm talking about. It, it, it was that sweet, sweet old Tezret card. Do I want... Yes, I probably want to keep a little bit of mana open. It's like, if I was him, I would just concede the moment I see what's happening. Well, he honestly knows what's happening. He's just not conceding just yet. Okay, so do this for nine, and guess what happens, lads? Guess what happens? Oh, yes! This thing happens. Yes, for how much? Yes, 11. I know. Amazing. So! Uh, 
at this point, we could say not even a close game. Well, yeah, uh, 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 can he even do anything? Nah, I honestly don't. Honestly, it does nothing, but at this point, just out of pure spite and malice, I'm gonna do it. And I'm not gonna look back, boys. So, yeah, as you can see, well, one, uh, one win because of dominance, one win against the red deck, and now this. Man! Those Ember Cleaves, boys, you just know when Wizards want you to lose. <laughs> you just know when Wizards want you to lose. But even at the end of the day, they can't manage that. So yeah, good times, ahoy. Also, <clears throat> by the way, we have a new Patreon. Patrick Parks. He's from Parks and Recreations. I have seen, like, zero episodes of that show, but I know it exists. Because at a certain time, there were memes about it, so... Yeah. And that's essentially it. Thank you for becoming a Patreon through these harsh times. <clears throat> Good times. Okay. So. Enemy. Oh, it's a Sarkon, not control deck. Oh! Ah, uh, come on, game. Are you really gonna try so hard to force me to lose because my win ratio currently is high? Are you actually gonna stoop this slow, wizards? I understand rigging matchmaking is like your bread and fucking butter at this point. But, you know, the, 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 there's a point I feel that, you know, should not be maybe crossed for whatever obvious goddamn reason. So, I want to guess what Ember Cleave color he's going to be using. I'm going to consider, uh, what's it called? Well, let's see. Is that? Yeah, I think that's Ember Cleave. Yeah, Ember Cleave. Oh, no, look at that. Ooh, ooh la la. Damn, boy, you big. Cast something more. Ah, he didn't. What a bitch. Boys, I can tell you one thing. I know how to smell a bitch for multiple reasons. Okay, but yeah, that 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 that's that's pretty much expected, honestly, at this point. Uh, oh, light up. The, yeah. A Steamkin Bumpkin to light up the stage, and a f Phoenix of Ashes. Why am I not even remotely surprised about any of these current outcomes? Yeah, I am I am 100% sure Wizards is trying to lower my win rate at this moment in time. Yeah, even Red decks should not be that lucky. Well, actually, previous decks did not have light up the stage, but the previous decks had, well, didn't have Steamkin Bumpkins. And recyclable fucking garbage. I don't think we can win this, unless... Oh no, we definitely do not. <laughs> of... I'm surprised he didn't cast Infuriate, but on the other hand, it's 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 a red deck player who's currently getting the Grand Wizards treatment because they want me to lose. So, on the one hand, it's extremely not exactly unexpected. Yeah. If I could just top deck Riddle of Soot, by the way, obviously not. Why, 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 why would the game give me a good top deck or any? Of course not. Okay, we do have a lot of Wilderness Reclamations, though. Let's see. And lands. Wow. Yeah. Wizards wants me to lose. That's like 100%. Too much win? Well, then then, then, then have this. Have a nice day. Okay. Uh, Trollbjorn, I'm expecting, honestly, at this point. Nothing else makes sense. Oh, is he just gonna attack? Well, obviously, he's just gonna attack. Okay, for how much can I buff this? Ah, he did not split the damage, that's sad. Okay, cycling for three. What a time to be alive, boys. What an absolute time. Okay, so what's the plan here? Okay, Erebos is good. That, that's exactly the cards, wizards, you know, stuff. He's obviously gonna do something. Yeah, that's... Oh. Mistakes were made. Wait, am I just dead again? Oh, exact lethal! Of course you give him exact- Oh! I honestly didn't see it, but I Does it even fucking matter at this point? No! The win rate needs to be 50%. 
So yeah, Ember Cleaves on Curve, and if it's not Ember Cleaves, it's gonna be light up the stage into, you know, the most aggressive, most damaged cards that are humanly, imaginably possible. And considering he did not buff, uh, buff up his Steamkin uh, or anything uh, with the thing, you know, it's 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 not exactly like I deserve to win, because he mathematically already had killed me. He just missed it. I could just... Wait, did... Oh, he still had that in hand anyway. So even if I block the Steamkin, he still kills me? Or what did we see in his hand? But yeah. Come on, wizards. Are you actually gonna do this to me? Are you actually gonna do this to me? Also, they bugged out the cat. Yep! 50% win rate or bust! Viz authentic wizard stuff, boys. Oh, baby, how does this even happen? Let's see. Ah, uh, we can go for... It doesn't really matter now, does it? No, it does. Okay, let's do it like this. So, well, yeah. Well, one of these is completely obvious, but yeah. And light up the stage, just for good measures. We all know it's happening. It didn't happen. Huh. Must be a bug. Well, a bug or not, not exactly bad. But we have Riddle of Sut and Sharknado, so wait, does he really not have anything or what what's the deal, yo hero? Huh. I'm not sure honestly at this point. It it looks strange for multiple reasons. Okay. So, first time we get to see Anticipate. Oh yeah, technically uh, uh, Anticipate is a Ikoria card, so this deck has two Ikoria cards, if that makes anyone feel a little bit better. Uh, is there even a point? No, there's no point in using Assassin's Trophy. Why is he not doing anything? It's a red deck. Play something. Maybe he only has spells or something and this is how they're gonna, like, make me lose. Well, Sinister Sabotage. Well, Sinister Sabotage is not exactly the best card we can currently get, but life is life. Okay. <clears throat> so, now we're riddling of Sut 100% of the time, huh? Uh, let's see. Probably a Swamp. Okay, so Riddle of Sut. Essentially, technically, from this moment onward, we are in an extremely good position. Because we have already beaten him out on card draw, unless he, like, gets super huge card draw. A dwarf. Okay. Not impressed. Not gonna lie. And a shock. Ah, yes! That was his Grandmaster plan, it seems like. Okay. <clears throat> well, doesn't matter too much now, does it? Okay, let's do this, and let's see. Uh, we're obviously just skipping the turn like there is absolutely no tomorrow. Wonder... Yonder, I wonder... We can, we, we're gonna do this for one. Don't ask me why, but one is the, one is the number that we want here. Okay, and now we block. Well, enemy con. Yeah, that's that's fine. Okay, so is it finally our time to shine and win? Game is 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 that that that's what's going on? Question question mark a lot. Let's see. Like no, I am not gonna allow you to draw multiple cards. That, that just seems like a tremendous amount of problems for me. Admittedly, he just needs one card to, like, pass judgment upon us. But, on the other hand, we can always cycle this. How much do we have, man? One. Ah, oh, this is so sad! Ah, oh, that's even sadder. Well, then again, we are technically in 100% the lead. I'm just 
trying to uh, cast the Sharknado without a Trollbion. A Trollbion, does it even matter? Uh, no, not really. Okay, let's see. Uh, seven. Seven is a good number. Okay, so yeah. As you can see, when there is no Ember Cleave, an enemy can just does not get, I don't know, how goddamn blastic, fantastic, lucky. It's not exactly a hard sell to win the game. You know, we, but again, 50% win rate is a thing. And Wizards really loves their 50% win rate. I'm just gonna instantaneously kill this. It's not like we're gonna get any- we, we have two counter spells. We're gonna have enough blockers so we don't exactly care about anything too much at this point. Okay, do we don't- we don't do care about the fact that we're just drawing, let's see, 11 lands? 11, 12, 13, of 14, 15! 15, 15 lands! Okay, that's, uh, 75 of my percent of my lands gone. Also, did I just let him light up this? I think I did. It doesn't matter. He should concede at some point. Feyofish is excelente, lads. And he just concedes. Yeah, expected. Okay, wizards, can I please... Can you please stop enforcing 50% win rate now against these red decks with Ember Cleaves and uh, the most aggressive openings uh, that are humanly possibly imaginable? Okay, can, can, we, can we please just stop with that, you know? And can you please g stop giving me wilderness reclamations when they have this kind of opening, you know? Would be nice! Just, just pointing, I just, just feel like pointing that one out. Okay, but yeah, the cat's bugged. That's, that's like, oh, I'm also gonna show you something more annoying. Like, the intent was actually fine and dandy after this game. But obviously, indie development, boys. You're, you're gonna see what I mean. And as a person who actually uses that part of Magic the Gathering extensively, I absolutely hate it. And it's the search functionality. Oh god, do I hate it with a passion. I absolutely hate it with a passion. Ah, uh, this is not bad. Also, for whatever reason, this counts as a swamp, forest, and island. Honestly, whoever thought that this is a good idea? Obviously not the brightest of Selenian colors. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's fine. Uh, let's see. Well, we're not gonna need too much more to land now, now uh, are we? So let's just start out thinning, uh, start thinning out the deck. Let's see, we want a swamp. Seems nice. Seems fine. Okay, so obvious enchantment deck is obvious. I actually want to kill this, like really badly. We have two assassins trophies, so killing that would. Oh, by the way, game. This is now the point where you give me a wilderness reclamation, uh, just to average out the bullshit you know would be kind of fair what's that oh it's to create something earth whatever feels strange no one uses this and for good reason enchantment creature well i would well i have well she has already enchanted a part of me so i'm okay with this ah oh, good times okay are you not gonna do anything else are you just gonna be a slow foodie it's bad enough you're a foodie, but now you're a slow one. Kinda slow. Okay. Creature enchantment spells cannot be count- Ooh! Ah! Well, now I'm not gonna look like a fool when I try the sinister sabotage something. That's amazing! Yeah. Okay, the real question now is- <clears throat> The real question now is simple. Well, yeah, giving him a land is absolutely fine. What's he gonna do with the one single land? Nothing. That's the right answer. Nothing. And we're still gonna be ahead. But yeah, this currently is like, again, wizard shenanigans. Sinister sabotage when things cannot be counted? Oh, boys. Good times. Anyway. Is he gonna drop the thing I fear, or is he not gonna drop? Is he not doing anything? Really now? 
Well, it is an enchantment creature, so all the glitters does make sense, to a degree. Okay, boys! We are still alive, and honestly, that's kind of what matters at the end of the day, most of the time. Can I still stave off? Ooh. Oh, this is definitely that type of pay life situation. Oh, the Anticipate Art, though, is really good. Really good, I like it a lot. Oh, by the way, too bad we're not playing against any Mutate decks. This deck is absolutely fantastic against Mutate decks. You see, the problem with Mutate decks is, one, they're slow, two, they're bad. Now, I'm sure that you can make a Mutate deck sooner or later that actually makes even a single shred of sense. Uh, but I doubt it. I, I kind of doubt it a lot. Oh, this is gonna pay off pretty fast, I feel. Okay, so, boom. Let's see, this is gonna cost six, we have a chance to draw a land, and then the Gift of Paradisio. Essentially, it's a mirror magic made in heaven. Buff it! Do it! Oh! You did it, enemy con! You buffed it! Woo! God. I'm almost sad to kill her, but sacrifices must be made in the name of the uh, Greater Imperium. So, adios! Wait, maybe he has protection spells. Oh my god, he actually does! What a fucking joke! Insane! I incredible! So... He drops the card, he's the only player in this whole game who's playing this card because it's absolute fucking garbage. No one plays counterspell decks, may I add. I draw two sinister sa- You think I can survive? I honestly doubt it, I think I need to drop Fey of Fishes like this and call it a day. In- <sighs> what, 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 what can I say? I'm a master- well, rigged. But I am a master at this. Plays the thing that makes a spell. How? Wizards, please! Of course, he gets the thing that also puts trample because there's still somehow magically too high of a risk that I win. And there we have it! Exact lethal! I... I can't. Next time I'm... Next time a new season pops, I'm just making this style of deck, not playing a single game, and winning every game, and calling it a 100% win rate deck, because this is re fucking tarted at this point. Insane! Who even plays that card? No one, that's the thing. Absolutely no one! Also, it looks like the game crashed. <laughs> Classic indie development, boys. Okay, come on, I, come on, game. Don't, don't, don't die on me. I want to actually show, show the thing I'm talking about. Oh, come on! We got Ember Cleaves two times in a row, and now this. Like, there's not a single person who's gonna call that fair fucking gaming. Wilderness Reclamation when we absolutely do not need it. 
No wilderness reclamation when we do need it, not a single game. Well, except one. And and then Ember cleaved on literally every chance. And it wasn't Ember cleave, it was Steamkin Bumpkin. And to light up the stages with the most maximum aggressive cards. All on 4 mana. Which is the perfect amount of mana for a red deck that has draw in it. Anyway, it looks like we're not getting back into the game, boys. So, oh no, look at that. Think they maybe can't pay for the server maintenance anymore? It could be. I did, though, shill out a bunch of bucks for them. Maybe it's not enough to keep the lights on. I don't know. Three people play this game, so it's not technically a huge issue. And it's black, still. They'll play wizards. Anyway. So, this was Quasar Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out the Discord. Check out the everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.